I've always been a geek. I was a geek at film school when, when it was not cool to be a geek, when it was, you know, at school, you were beaten up for being a geek in my day. Um, I, used to, I used to go to the, people at BBC that are online will know this is true. I actually used to wear a Ripley jumpsuit into my edit suite at the BBC. I recreated from Alien. I literally sewed all the patches on a jumpsuit and wore it to work. That's how much of a geek I am. Um, <laughs> not often, but occasionally. In terms of my career, has it affected it? I guess it affected it in that, um, here's an example. When I turned up at Lucasfilm to do the story reel, they sent over the DMEs, dialogue, music, edit tracks, for all six movies, each individual reel. But at that point, none of the paperwork had come through and the code names on the tracks, they were just code names like you would get a file on an Avid. So it was just gobbledygook. It didn't mean anything. And so uh, all you knew was if you found a music reel, that the, there was a corresponding code that would be the dialogue and that would be the, um, that would be the, the, via, the, the sound effects track. That was it, it wouldn't be the, it would be the sound effects track. So I said to my assistant, Summer, she said, I don't know what anything is. I can't sync the film because I don't know what anything is because it until the paperwork and they say it's going to be a you know, week before the paperwork comes. And I said, oh, just play me a reel. And she played me a reel of music. And I said, that's the compactor, which is in uh, episode two. It's about reel three or reel four. But if you go to the compactor scene, that's the, that's the scene for that. You can sync that up and then you can sync the dialogue. And, and she went, how do you know that? And I went, because I'm a geek. <laughs>